In this tutorial, I'll show you how to create a neon logo reveal animation inside of After Effects without using any plugins. Let's create a new composition. I'm going for 1920 by 1080 and 24 frames per second. Click OK. I'm going to use HP logo for this tutorial. You can use your own logo or whichever one you like. Drag it to the timeline and adjust the scale of it so it's all nice and centered. Then right click the logo and select pre-compose. Let's call this logo and make sure Movable Attributes is selected, then click OK. Then search for Vegas Effect in Effects and Presets and add it to the logo comp. Set Blend Mode to Transparent, Segments to 1, and if you don't see anything happening, open Image and Contours drop down, play around with the threshold, slightly decrease it until you get the picture. Then close Image and Contours drop down and go to Color. You're free to choose your own colors, I'm going for a blue color for this one, then click OK. Then go to the beginning of the composition at 0 frames. Create keyframe for length and rotation. Then press U to see the keyframes on the timeline. Set length to 0. Let's go to 2 seconds. Set length to 0 0.5. Then let's go to 6 seconds and set rotation to minus 360 or that would be just minus 1. And now we'll have a thin line animating constantly and that looks nice. Let's now select your logo comp. Go to edit, duplicate. Then press U to see the second logo layer's keyframes. And at the first start keyframe of the rotation, set it to minus 180 degrees and go to the end keyframe of the rotation and also set it to minus 180 degrees. So now we have two thin lines animating in a different direction. I'm going to set the second logo layer to a red color and then click OK. Now we can add glow to our logo layers. Go to effects and presets, search for glow, stylize glow, add this to the logo comp. But before making any changes, go back to the project window Hold the ALT key and click on the 8 BPC twice until it says 32 BPC. And as you can see that made our glow a lot more intense and that's the glow we want to use. Let's go back to effect controls and now adjust the glow radius. I'm going to set it to 50 to get this neon glow which looks awesome. Let's now select the glow layer, press ctrl C to copy it. Select the logo layer number 2 and press ctrl V to paste that glow to it. Our neon logo outlines are ready, let's now bring in the actual logo reveal. For that we'll use Venetian blinds effect. Let's select the top logo, go to edit and duplicate it, or press ctrl D as a shortcut. Then remove Vegas and glow effects from this top logo layer. Then search for Venetian blinds and effects and presets and add this to the top logo layer. Set width to 10, direction to 45 degrees. Make sure you are at 2 seconds mark, create a keyframe for transition completion, make it 100%. Then go one second forward to three seconds and set it back to zero. That will make our actual logo animate in. Let's now animate the neon lines out. Select the second logo layer and create a keyframe for start opacity. Then select the last logo layer and do the same. Make sure you are two seconds though. Then select bottom two logos and press U twice to see the keyframes on the timeline. Move forward by one second and set start opacity values to zero for both layers. Now as our main logo reveals itself, the neon lines will slowly fade out. Let's now select the top logo layer and press U to see the keyframes. Then select the keyframes, right click on any of them, time assistant, easy ease, or you can press F9 as a shortcut. And do the same for the start opacity keyframes of so the bottom logo layers. Select them and press F9 to easy ease them as well. Then select all logo layers, right click, pre-compose, let's call this animation, then click OK. Let's create a background for this by right click new solid, let's call this BG and drop it below the animation layer. Let's now give our logo a zoom out effect with a slight tilt. So let's go to 4 seconds mark, select the animation layer, press S for scale, create a keyframe for scale, then press R for rotation and create a keyframe as well. Press U to see those keyframes on the timeline, move to the beginning of the composition, set rotation to minus 45 degrees and scale to 250%, then select all of the keyframes, right click on any of them, or just press F9 as a shortcut, go to the graph editor, and make sure you are in edit speed graph, select this point and drag the handle to the left while holding shift so it snaps into place. This way we'll have a smooth zoom out effect throughout our logo reveal. Let's exit the graph editor and give our logo zoom out effect a bit of motion blur. Click on the toggle switch mode until you see this column and enable motion blur by ticking this box. That will make the zoom out effect even smoother. Let's now create particles for our scene. We'll right click new solid. Let's name this particles. Click OK. And drag it below the logo animation layer. Then go to effects and presets and search for particle system second. Apply this to the particle solid layer. Then go to effect controls, open producer, select position and place it in the bottom center point. 
then open physics, set animation type to direction, set gravity to zero, velocity to 0 0.5, then open particle drop down, select particle type to faded sphere, then set max capacity to 100%, size variation also to 100%, birth size to 0 0.1 and depth size to 0 0.1 as well. As for the color, you free to choose your own colors, I'm going something that matches the scene well, something like light blue at the start and darker blue at the depth color. Now let's adjust the producer size, go back to the producer settings, set radius x per producer to 100 and also radius y to 100 so we have particles spread out throughout our composition. And you can always decrease the number of particles by decreasing the birth rate, I'm going to set mine to 1. And if the particles are too intense you can always select the particles layer, press T for opacity and drop down the opacity to maybe 50%. I'm going to go to the end of our animation in 4 seconds and press N to bring in the composition endpoint. To better focus on our main animation, let's go ahead and preview what we've created. That looks pretty good, but we can improve this by adding a highlight in a corner. Let's create a new adjustment for that by right click, new adjustment layer. Place the adjustment layer above all other layers. Go to effects and presets and search for gradient ramp and add this to the adjustment layer. Select start of ramp and place it in the top left corner, then select the end of ramp and place it in the center. Click on swap colors, then set ramp shape to radial ramp, select start color and set it to something like again matches the scene, I'm going for a dark blue. And also set ramp scatter to 100% to minimize the amount of color bandings. Then let's set the adjustment layers mode to screen and that will give us a nice highlight in our top left corner. We could also add a slight noise to this, let's go to effect and preset, search for noise, add this to the adjustment layer, set the amount of noise to 4% and check use color noise and again that will minimize the amount of color bandings. And we can now preview our final result with all the particles and all the effects applied. And just like that we've been able to create a neon logo reveal in After Effects without using any plugins. That wraps up the tutorial, if you enjoyed this video and learned something new please give this video a like Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.